Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. In this video, I want to showcase how you can extract strings before a specific text. A member on the Enterprise DNA forum posted this scenario. They have a table with a text string and want to extract the value before each occurrence of a specific text. Now, of course, there are many ways to achieve that, but I thought it would be fun to show a solution that's fully coded. Therefore, it will be more advanced, but I'll break it down into very small pieces so we can examine the results of each individual step. Without further ado, let's go over the Power Query. So here's our sample query, and I'll right click that to create a reference. I'll rename that. And we can let the user interface help us to add a custom column in which we can build our logic. Just click on that mini table icon in the top left corner and select add a custom column. The first thing I'm going to do is split that text column. So we'll use the function text.split. opening parentheses and it wants a text so we can point to our text column just double click that enter a comma and next it wants a separator as a text so in between a set of double quotes we can add that semicolon closing parentheses and press ok now we can see that the function text.split returns a list with separated text values. So when I click off to the side in the white space, we can see a preview of that list down below. Now we still have to do a bit of cleanup because there could be some leading or trailing spaces included in these text strings, and we need to get rid of those. That means we have to change the content of each of these lists. And there's an M function for that called list.transform. So in the formula bar, I'll add list.transform. So it wants a list and we've given that a comma and next a transformation. So we want to trim those texts. So add text dot trim. Add a closing parentheses and press OK. We can click off to the side in the white space again and we see that our text have been trimmed. Perfect. So let's open the advanced editor window. Because like I said, I want to break this up into really small pieces. For that, I'll use variables to store intermediate results for each of the steps. And as we can see right here, you can create a comma delimited set of variables inside a let expression. Let's move to a new line. Add that let expression. And we can give this first step a name. So I'll call that list texts. The last closing parentheses is of our table.addColumn function, so I'll move that to a new line as well. Move that back. And it's a comma delimited list, right? So at the end of that first expression, we have to put in a comma, so we can add a new expression right there. So let's create a new variable name. I'll call that find positions. So the entire string has been separated and cleaned. All we have to do is find the location for the string that we're looking for. We can use a function list.positionOf to do that. So I'll add that here. Opening parentheses, and it wants a list. Now we can return the variable that we already created. So that's list texts and next it wants a value so the value that we're looking for and that's 
two capital A's. That's the text that we're looking for. Now the counterpart of let is the in clause. So we need to add that in. We can return that. So find positions. We're returning that and press done. So I've located the first occurrence of that search string within each of these lists. But this function takes an optional third parameter. In the formula bar, right here, I'll expand that, we can add that third parameter. So enter a comma and occurrence as nullable number. Now, you can also type that out full. So occurrence all, we want each occurrence. Press OK, and we now get a list again. So click off to the side in the white space, and here we see we get two values, right? It found it here and right there. That's looking good. Now the goal is to extract the value before the search string. So we need to move back a single position. But as you can see, we also have zeros. Now, of course, there is no value before the first initial value in that string, right? And we have to avoid errors, so we need to exclude those zeros. Let's open the advanced editor window again. Add a comma at the end of the last line. Press enter. Let's create a new variable. I'll call that remove zeros. If that list starts with a zero, we want to skip that. Let's add list.skip. We need to give it a list. That's find positions. And then a count or a condition. Now in this case, we'll add a condition. Each item in our list, that's the underscore to access that, equals zero. We want to skip that. We have to replace that variable name behind the in clause. So that's going to be remove zeros and press done. So let's check the results. And here you can see that we've lost that first position, right? We don't have that zero anymore here as well. That's looking good. That's one problem down. However, we still need to move back that one position. And again, we can use list.transform to help us out. I'll open the advanced editor window again. Add a comma at the end of the last line. Press enter. And let's create a new variable name. Let's call that get positions. We'll call list.transform. We're going to pass the remove zeros list. So remove zeros. And we want that value that we have in that list, we want one subtracted, right? So each underscore minus one. So for each value in our list, we want to subtract one. Let's return that. So I'll copy this and paste it after the in clause. Press done. And let's check our results. So this is zero, one, two, three. That should have returned a three and it's now returning a two. So we're landing on this value. Excellent. So we now have that zero based index position for each value that we want to return from our initial list. Let's go back to the advanced editor window again. Enter a comma at the end of the last line. Press enter to go to a new line. Let's call this get strings. And again, we'll use list.transform. We'll pass it our get positions list. 
because that contains the positions of the values that we want to access. And then we'll say each text dot from. So it wants a text value. Now we need to pass in our initial list because that contains those values, right? So that's list texts. And to access items within that list, we can use those curly brackets for each item in the list. So we pass in the underscore and we can also add the question mark here. That will perform an optional item selection. So that changes the not found behavior from raising an error into returning a null instead. Let's replace the variable after the in clause. So paste that in here. Let's see. Yeah, I got every closing parentheses. Press done. Click off to the side in the white space. And here I have a single value in my list. And in a second, a single value. And here I have three values. That's brilliant. So we're almost there. The final step is combining all of the text values in the list that we that we see right here into a single string. I'll open the advanced editor window again. Add a comma at the end of that last expression. Press enter. And this is going to be our result. So text.combine. It wants text as a list, so that's get strings. And then a separator as nullable text. So in between a double quote signs, we can enter a comma and a space. Let's return results. And that will be a type text. Press done. Excellent. In this video, you've seen how to extract strings before a specific text. And we used several text and list M functions to accomplish that task. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.